Hi, okay, so I've been reading The Lonely Hearts Diner by Carolyn Brown. Um, this book, it was, it is unashamedly chiclet. There is no other way to describe this book apart from just chiclet. Um, romance, not erotic romance, very kind of like hallmark channel romance. <laughs> um, you know what is kind of cliched and as... Um, predictable as this book was I did still enjoy reading it there's no getting away from that but it's not kind of a if you're looking for anything edgy or you know that really keeps you guessing all the way through this probably isn't your book it's basically it's about Jancy um a young woman who is fleeing from her troubled past and troubled relationships um and on a way um driving across um America she stops in at the little village where her grandmother used to live and due to a fortunate series of events ends up working with the ladies of the Strawberry Hearts Diner. Now as I say this is romance, it's feel good, it's you know it is however very predictable there's no big surprises or twists and turns in this book um there's you know there's no big shock it's it is very predictable but it is one of those kind of comfy rainy sunday i just want to feel happy about something kind of books um you know good good points about the book are for me the um way that carolyn brown writes female characters um they're all quite complicated women they come to life very quickly in your own head you kind of view them as complete people very easily the male characters not so much but the female ones certainly and that that's a really plus point you could you know you can really kind of feel at home with these characters very quickly um negative points again it's like i said it's predictable but beyond that there's kind of this um big town developer guy who comes into it is sort of a secondary storyline um, and it doesn't really kind of go anywhere. I can see why he's been put in because of the interactions with the other characters and the way it makes the other characters react around him. However, you know, you, you kind of feel as if that this storyline's just sort of left hanging at the end of the book. There's no real sort of ending to it. it it's just kind of sat there doing nothing. Um, so that's a little bit disappointing because I think more could have been made of that and there could have been more sort of twists and turns and surprises with that element of the book um but yeah i mean it is you know like i say for all it was pretty predictable for all it was there was no big surprises with it it was easy to read you know like i say it, it, it's kind of a rainy sunday book um or if you just want to sit down read something not too challenging and know you're gonna feel happy at the end of it you know this is the kind of book for you, you know, if you're sick of reading like the books where there's a suddenly a big plot twist and that absolutely breaks your heart. This book is not going to do that to you, okay? It's very much a safe space when it comes to books. It's not gonna there's there's not gonna be any of that. It's it's a very kind of like feel good book. And you know, it's it is what it is. It's a nice book. People probably won't like it being described as nice, but there's there's no other way of putting it. So yeah, if you want sort of just feel happy about yourself, feel a little bit better of the world, look to a simpler time when romances were very straightforward and you could fall in love with the love of your life in the space of two weeks, this is your book. <laughs> Go for it. You will be happy after reading this book. If you want something that with a lot of plot twists that's quite intellectually challenging or a little bit more edgy, a little bit more erotic than just sort of romance, then probably not for you. Um, would I read more Carolyn Brown? Yeah, probably. If I had like a long train ride or I was stuck in a, you know, somewhere, you know, a if I went on holiday and it rained and I just wanted to curl up with something and feel better, then yes, I would read another Carolyn Brown. But for actual enjoyment of reading, if I want a really good book I can sink my teeth into, this is probably, to be honest, a little bit too sort of light and fluffy around the edges for my normal taste in books. <laughs>